I always had this thing with Rohner where I would send him photos from anywhere in the world where I saw a you know, big cliff or a big closeout line and I'd just like, you know, feed his imagination with him. Steve and I were flying home from Haines one year at the end of the season and as we're flying down, we see this epic couloir that just ends in an 800,000 foot cliff. And we grabbed some footage of it and kept flying. And then a few years later, we were just talking about you know the photos and, the, and I was like, dude, I have this one for you. Rohner sat on that thing for at least a couple of years after we shot it and frothed on it and probably dreamt about it and you know belabored over it in his mind. And then one year we were done filming in Haines and I looked at the weather forecast and it was perfect. I called Rohner and I was like, Rohner, it's on. Yeah, I'm real fired up. I'm actually not nervous at all. It was just the most magical moment. We forever talked about that as being one of the best days of our lives. You know, that was the pinnacle of my visions and I think his and Steve's and all of ours like collided. Those are my first Alaska turns ever. <laughs> <laughs> the length of time to wait and sit on something like that, to have it come together, it's just so rewarding. And now that Rohner's no longer here, that moment becomes just that much more cherished and special. Because and for you know, a couple hours, one day, we pulled off the impossible.